Hey guys, Shane here. Um, so back with another uh, mining rig update, mining rigs update. Um, some interesting developments in the market. Um, I don't know if you guys have checked, but Bitcoin is at 9,600 now, along with everything else. For the most part, is going up, which is good. The really cool thing is the Raven coin, what I've been mining, is up about two cents this week. So here are the stats. Raven coins right here, 0 0.0508 cents. I think it started with, let's see what it ended last week. Last week, it's about uh, one and a half cents up over last week. So that's a nice push, especially when you got almost 2,000 coins now, like I do. Um, so what's this go? We got 386 Raven coin mined this week, totaling uh, $19.61, 8.3 Electronium this week, and Nice Ash popped out $13.65, and I have that right here on the AMD rig. Well, I did. So the update with that. I finally got SMOS working again, so now I'm mining Ethereum, and I'm gonna I'm converting that to Bitcoin at the moment, and then I was gonna buy Tron, but just looking at it a couple of minutes ago, I think I might throw this rig on Ravencoin and mine all Ravencoin, and see if I can get this up a little higher because that looks like it's starting to uh, starting to go up. I've already got. A little over 7,000 Tron coins, you know, which is why I was going to be doing Bitcoin. I was going to convert that Bitcoin into Tron on Binance, but I may just throw this rig now on on Raven and just start mining both rigs with Raven. Because already this week on one rig with these two cards, two 1060s, 386 Raven this week. Last week I did 356, so I'm already 30 coins more than last week. I've already beat the profits of last week, and I still got to I, I finalized these stats at about 10 o'clock tonight, so I still got a little while to go. So this may, if I'm lucky, it may hit five dollars, which is really cool. But it really bumped up because Raven coins gone up about a cent, a one and a half cents this week. Total Raven coin ninety-one dollars twenty-nine cents. Total Verge two hundred ninety-seven dollars, and total Electronium sixteen dollars and nine cents. Um, a little update with the Electronium. I'm gonna have to eat my words from uh, my last video, yesterday's video. I went into my wallet yesterday, uh, shortly after I got out that video, and it just then updated all those. 10 ten dollar coin deposits that I thought just disappeared. They did disappear. I don't know where they went, and all of a sudden they appeared in my wallet. So who knows? I still haven't been paid out on my other phone. I got like 210 coins on that one phone. It's still waiting to get paid out, but hopefully that'll pay out soon enough. So look, this jumped in this one week is uh, a little over $70. In value, total value mine. I'm at $405 now, and almost a full 11 weeks of mining with uh, with five cards. And that wasn't even five cards the whole time. Started out with the 560s, then I got the 570. A couple weeks later, I got the 1060s. So it's looking really good right now, guys. Some bad news, though. I'm sure you guys have heard. Bitmain's latest crypto ASIC can mine Zcash. So that's not good for all the guys mining, uh, I think it's Equihash um, uh, algorithm. Bitmain has unveiled a new cryptocurrency mining hardware product dedicated to Equihash algorithm, which is used by the privacy-oriented cryptocurrency Zcash. The Equihash application-specific integrated circuit, or ASIC, was announced Thursday, which shipments expected to begin in June, according to Bitmain's website. The Antminer Z9 Mini's release comes exactly a month after the formal debut of Bitmain's Ethereum-focused ASIC. Bitmain tweeted its announcement shortly after 6.30 a.m. today. Pleased to announce the Antminer Z9 Mini and ASIC miner to mine Equihash-based cryptocurrencies. 
To prevent hoarding and to let more individuals worldwide get one, we've set a limit of one miner per user. Order here. And it takes you to the website. So that could be bad news for us GPU miners who, or at least the ones that are mining Zcash. I don't mine Zcash, but well, as you know, I'm mining Ethereum, but it's still, still bad news, guys. Um, simple mining. Here's the rig up and running again. 28 mega hash on the 570, 13.8 on one 560, 14.6 on the other one. The 13.8 is that one um, 560 that was kind of bad out of the box a little bit. That's the one that's right there running at 70 degrees as well. I should probably kick the fan up on that a little bit. Um, if we want to check out the overclocks on that real quick, I'll show you that. Let me pull that up. So here are the overclocks, 570, 1350 on the core, 2100 on the memory. And the two 560s are 1300 on the core and 2000 on the memory. Six power stage, target temperature at 70 degrees, minimum fan speed is 55. So that's only been up now, let me see, for about an hour and 41 minutes I got it up. Um, I don't know who suggested this. So I'm just going to throw a blanket thank you out there. But somebody said, leave my Windows um, operating system connected to the, to the motherboard, but plug my USB in where I have um, SMOS loaded. And then restart it. And then, you know, you, at least on my motherboard, you hit uh, F12. And it'll take you to the boot option menu. And then you select USB. So I did that. And it loaded up fine. It took a little bit to update the USB because I haven't used it in about a week and a half. But it's humming right along now. So whoever suggested that, I, I'm sorry I forget, but thanks for that suggestion. I don't know why it wouldn't boot with just the USB in there. I don't, I don't get it, but it's working now, so I'm, I'm happy. Um, I guess, guys, here's Mining Pool Hub. Showing me, here's my Ethereum I just started. I'm probably going to actually fix that and convert it and actually just mine. Here it is right here. Where is it at? No, that's on the other one. But what I'm going to do is actually mine, um, probably going to mine Ravencoin and see how that goes for a while. Build those coins up. So like I said, I've already got enough Tron, so... 7,000 Tron seems to be enough. Let me see what Tron's doing right now. TRX Tron. So Tron's at almost 9 cents. So let me see. 0 0.088. And I think I've got like 7,150 Tron. So that's $630 in Tron right now. So I think I'll just hold hold to that, and I may just set that up later. I'll do that update tomorrow for Bitcoin Fridays, and I'll I'll show you all whether I've changed to Ravencoin on both rigs or not. I'm thinking I may just go ahead and do that. Um, speaking of Bitcoin Fridays, guys, I'm going to put the video uh, in the first comment down below so that you can enter. Okay, so you're going to go to that video that's in the first comment right below this one. Enter your BTC wallet address, and you'll be entered for tomorrow's Bitcoin Friday, okay? Um, I'll also leave a link to Spartan Mining's Free Hash Friday, which he's giving away free hashing power on uh, a couple of his rigs. I think somebody else may be donating hashing power too. I'll put both those video links in the first comment below so you guys can go and enter, okay? Um, uh, I guess that's it. So... Be sure to go to those videos down below, enter your BTC wallet address, and make a comment on Spartan Mining's video, and that's all you got to do to be entered. Uh, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification icon. Uh, if you like the video, hit that like button. I'd appreciate it. Again, any questions or comments, put it below this video, and I'll be definitely get back to you, okay? Do not enter your Bitcoin wallet address below this video. It won't be entered. Go to the video I put out yesterday and enter it there, okay?
All right, guys, with that, I will um, see you guys tomorrow where we will draw the fourth winner in Bitcoin Fridays, okay? Take care, guys. Bye.